Come to the mic whenever you're uh, ready. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak to everyone. Is there any voice? Okay, uh, my story was I was a Christian for many years practicing Christian. I was baptized, I was doing a missionary job, I was taking books to people and uh, for quite many years. And then uh, from the church I was uh, going, the priest and uh, all these people who head of church, they start to put their nose in my private life. I was coming every single day to my house. They was looking everything, what I'm wearing, what I'm eating. They was looking inside my fridge. And then I thought, what the, what does it mean? There is no such a thing in the Bible that priests have to... Yes, I'm European. I'm from Latvia. Uh, there was uh, doing too many things that I was not happy with. Yes, I, Latvia, yes. Uh, so then I, I start to keep away from these people. Even uh, the church itself, they didn't teach uh, bad stuff like uh, in the, that church I was going, they didn't drink alcohol, they didn't eat pork, they uh, forced women to dress, you know, modestly and, you know, cover themselves, long skirts and stuff. But the teaching there was like uh, every church, no, I was a Seventh Day Adventist, if you know what is it. They are mostly following the everything Jewish. Whatever Jewish doing was doing, celebrate the holidays, following the you know there was uh, no they didn't allow to eat pork. Yes, there was uh, Saturday Sabbath. They were celebrating every time, and mostly they was following Jewish traditions. Even uh, even they was behaving like a Jewish. <laughs> so then uh, when I. S stop going to church. They start calling me every day and asking why, why you're not coming. I was always trying to make some excuses. I'm not well. I'm this and that, or I'm busy. Or I cannot. And then I went to uh, to Holland for work. I got a job in uh, Holland, so I left the church. And I went to just uh, for sake of curiosity. I went to church in Holland and there was only one church of Adventists in different city I had to travel two hours to get this church and what I saw in that church just singing I didn't understand anything what they're saying what they're doing just singing so I went one time I didn't want to go second time so then I left uh, left my religion at all I was not Christian I was not Muslim anything I didn't know what to do. So uh, then I came to England and I was quite curious about uh, seeing Muslim women, you know, wearing full uh, jalbab, very long clothes and scarf. And I was so scared to come and talk to them. I thought maybe they check me out, say I don't talk to you or so. And one time I was in a a shopping mall. I I was just you know wasting my time walking around, and I saw two women, quite uh, like uh, over fifty. And I was sitting and staring at them, <laughs> without any shame. I was just staring at them, and they saw it. And then one of them come. <laughs> you want to ask something? You want to say something? Why are you looking like that? I say yes. Actually, I have some questions, but I'm scared to to talk. I say, don't be worried, don't be shy, whatever you have questions, just ask. I say, I was a Christian, I was uh, going to church, but it didn't make me happy. I was not uh, happy with what I heard, what I saw. So, and I heard about Islam, that many people attacking this like that, like that, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Can you tell me something about it? And they invited me to visit their house the uh, next day. I say, okay, I will come. So I next day I went to their house, and uh, this woman and another one with her, they invited another woman who was also revered, 
and to talk to me about herself, about her story, like, you know, to support me with the talk and just sharing uh, the uh, experience. I went there. When I entered the house, it was like a shock me. It was perfectly clean, very nice smell and so, so relaxing. So I didn't want to go out of there. I just sit down, I was offered tea and, uh, you know, biscuits, v very nicely, they was talking to me very nice, with very good manner, they was just, uh, you know, let me chance to ask questions, yes, they are Arabs from Palestine and from Syria, and another one was English, uh, f she revert English, so they, uh, let me talk first, what questions I have, I say, what a, you know, basic, teachings of Islam why are you dressing like that the, just what is the basic teachings and they told me about five pillars of Islam first is the worship one God there is no any God except Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a messenger of Allah and second is to pray to perform salat then to pay charity zakat to fast in Ramadan and to perform Hajj. I say yes, it's very interesting, nice, can you tell me more? And they gave me some books, just two or three books, uh, like uh, say this is enough for you, for now. If you read these books you're gonna answer your question, whatever you have. And also they gave me some DVDs with the uh, lectures of uh, Khalid Yassin and uh, Ahmed Didat, I think, uh, these two. I say, watch this and, you know, they are very good. They make people understand, whoever want to understand. I took these books and uh, these DVDs, I went home and I straight come to watch. And I was, yes, yeah, ma uh, mashallah, he's uh, really good. And I was watching these DVDs, you know, one time finished, I start again, day and night, I was just sitting and watching these things. And well, there was a moment when I get angry, there was, uh, you know, making some jokes of Christianity, like uh, um, whoever <laughs> saw these uh, DVDs and these lectures, they know. And then I realized that they making point. They are making really good point. So there is no... There is no way to turn it upside down or some kind of... So, then I, I, I got the point that... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit excited and emotional. Uh, so, and then I read books, and then I uh, call the women, these uh, sisters, and I, ask, I have some more questions. Can I come or see each other one day? Say, no problem, we can come to you or you can come to us. No problem, whenever you feel. Uh, then they invited me again to see them. And I say, yes, is, I saw these old DVDs and it make perfect uh, point, but what to do next? Well, how, you know, how to, you know, sort my doubts out? And to make a uh, decision, final decision, she say, you wash yourself, purify yourself, uh, take shower, and then whatever way you used to pray to God, just, just uh, you know, do this way and say, not with the name of Jesus, not in, in name of anyone. Uh, Uh, I say Shahada just, uh, you know, there was uh, two, three people around. I didn't go to mosque, I didn't make a big deal, big celebration from it. I just, you know, there was uh, some, some people around. Uh, okay, and then they say to me, you go home when you're alone, nobody disturbing you, nobody distracting you. Just pray to your God as you used to do, but to, to Allah, the Creator, and say, if my way is right, to let me be on it. 
If Islam is right, let me be on it. Just say these words. And then, whatever happened, that this is your guidance. Because uh, Allah guides those who is sincere seeking for truth. So that's what I did. And the next day I had no doubt that I I'm, I'm want to be a Muslim. I want to follow Islam and teachings that make perfect sense to me. And these people come. And they give me some more books, some more information. And say, you know, repeat after me. I say, Shahada. And that's it. This was enough for me. And then from then I started straight away. I learned how to pray. I was fasting. I was doing everything, and even I was making very heavy for myself. I, <laughs> I couldn't handle that much as I put on myself. But I wanted to do to do everything straight away. And I even started to learn Quran, how to recite, how to how to. Uh, you know, to recite Quran in my prayers and to so now, um, alhamdulillah, five years, my daughter is growing up, she's wearing scarf, sometimes praying with me, and my son is one year old, he's going to pray with me too, I'm going to teach them Islam, inshallah, I hope my children are going to be good Muslims and going to help us and support us. So that's my story. I hope you people enjoyed it. And uh, you know, I ask Allah to guide all Muslims in this holy month of Ramadan and accept all our du'as, all our prayers, and and guide us and to make us die as a Muslims and grant us all paradise. I mean, okay, I'm get off the mic. Thank you for giving me chance. I don't know how to take mic off. It's not MashaAllah, MashaAllah, may Allah keep you strong in Iman, I mean, so you've been a Muslim for five years, MashaAllah, yeah, I, I've been a Muslim for five years too, I took my Shahada in 2005, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, bro, yes. <laughs> I got a real bad headache by the night, you know. I got a bad allergies today, so. so maybe I can tell a different time, Aki, you know. Is it alright if I tell it another time? Now, now, now. <laughs> no, uh, sister, I, I never heard your story, no. It's okay, boy, yes. Yeah, I know you're kidding. <coughs> yeah, no. You're Pakistani. Pakistani. The Kashmiri. Pakistani, Kashmiri. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, bro, I was just, like, last night I was sitting here thinking, you know, uh, when I used to go to Catholic school, I was sitting here thinking, like, the feelings I used to have when I used to go to the school, Catholic school, I used to get creeped out for going to church. I used to get so creeped out. I just remembered, like, this weird feeling. I used to, I can't explain it. I don't know, like, when I used to go to this church, yeah, bro, it's a weird feeling, man. So weird. They used to have the classes in the basement, so I had to walk all the way downstairs. It was really weird. Jesus! Yeah, bro, I hate that. Yeah, man, it's part of law. You know what? I, do you know what I also hated was that uh, intermingling of men and women. And you know, on Sunday, you know, they all gotta, you know, the women's gotta come in their best clothes. And it's just Hanawaki. I hated the intermingling. Because I could never concentrate. Yeah, yes, sister. It's so boring sleeping during the Mass. Yeah, me too. You know, you have to stand, you have to get up and down, get up and down. Well, that's how the Catholic Church is. You have to get up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I know, it's a workout. Yeah, it's up, down, up, down. Make a choice, man. Up and down. Pentecostal. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, man, I hated the church. I hated the church so much. <laughs> Buddhist, Christian, Hindi, hippie, happy. Buddhist, Christian, Hindu, hippie. Baha, dude. Baha. I never bothered to like look into Buddhism or Hinduism because I knew that they did that they didn't believe in the God of Abraham. So you know, and I believed in the God of Abraham. So I didn't even bother to look up Christian, I mean, uh, Buddhism or Hinduism. Yeah, brother. Yeah, exactly, sister. That's why I, you know, when I was searching, I didn't even bother looking up Buddhism because they don't believe in God or Hinduism. Or well, Hindus believe in God. Exalted is Allah above what they associate with Him. Yeah, I couldn't believe that, Ukti, when I was, uh, I came, I went away, when I came back, I heard you on the mic, I seen it was Omar, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> He heard you.
They, they don't wear the hijab with the tight jeans, do they, Aki? Hijab with tight jeans and high heels? MashaAllah. Yeah, bro. I've seen that before. Hijabis with tight jeans and high heels. MashaAllah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, bro. They make uh, the hijab into like a fashion statement today. All these different colors and all these different designs. You know what I honestly like, Aki? You know what I like? I like straight up black. I like straight black, Aki. You know how they like they wear the full black abaya. You know, it's just so nice because it's all uh, plain. I like it a lot. Read your comments. <laughs> You're not just supposed to sound soft and sweet. <laughs> he said you sounded soft and sweet. MashaAllah. Sorry about it. No, sister, you didn't sound soft and sweet. No. I don't know why he said that for. Yeah, he's being, yeah, uh, yeah, it's natural. Allahu Akbar. He is? You got two girls, right? You have those sisters. 